What is going on everybody? Welcome back, MTG here with another episode. If you're new to the channel, hi there. So this right here is the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and this portable monitor is actually the Uperfect S4K touchscreen monitor. And I think this is probably a really good setup. Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, perfect for Samsung DeX and it even works better with this monitor. I'm gonna get into it, so without further delay, let's dive right in. Okay, starting things off is the Galaxy S23 Ultra. My model here has 12 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage, which for many people, it's going to be enough, but you also can go for the lower base model as well, 256 gigs of storage. I'm currently using the S23 Ultra here as a touchpad as my mouse, pretty much as my cursor right here. And the Snapdragon Gen 2 in the Galaxy S23 Ultra made for Galaxy. I've been using this device since its release and it's a powerhouse. It works efficiently uh, paired with Android 13 as well. It's One UI 5.1 skin and optimization is great. Battery life has also been great. Easily getting seven, eight, nine hours sometimes on screen on time. Essentially, you're carrying a mobile machine in your pocket, and I believe that this right here is the perfect Samsung as of right now to use for Samsung DeX. You're probably gonna say, why don't I use the Fold or why don't I use the predecessors? You can, those are great devices, but as of right now, this is the most powerful device to use for Samsung DeX. Not only that, having the right monitor matters. And I've been using the U-Perfect S4K touch touchscreen monitor and touchscreen is a huge thing with Samsung DeX for uh, this monitor for a while, but touchscreen uh, is a huge thing when it comes to Samsung DeX. I'm gonna get into that in a little bit. Uh, and I think that's probably one of the best monitors you can pair with Samsung DeX. And also if you wanna use it with your laptop or your Mac mini, if you have one, you can use that as well. Now the one thing I love about this is that it's touchscreen. And that's where Samsung DeX comes into play because Samsung DeX supports touchscreen capability. Whereas if you pair this to like a Mac OS machine, uh, the touchscreen becomes useless because Mac OS doesn't support touchscreen capability yet. Samsung DeX is different. If I wanna go into settings, I go into settings. These are my phone settings, by the way. Um, you're not using, it. this isn't going to monitor settings. Just keep that in mind. If I wanna go into YouTube, just go to my subscriptions. Here I am. Let's say I wanna to go to my channel. Let's go to my channel, take a look. Uh, I have a new video up on the channel. I had one two days ago based on the U4K monitor from U-Perfect, the U-Perfect S4K monitor, or why I use the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Like, it works well with Samsung DeX. I think this that's why it's a, one of the main reasons it works best with Samsung DeX. Now, for Samsung DeX, I use it a lot for YouTube videos, just if I want to get it, you know, I'm on, I'm on the road or anything and I want it on a bigger screen, I have my portable monitor with me, I will use it for that. Um, but you can get work done. Like I've, I've used this to write some articles. Uh, as, as you can tell, I don't have my keyboard right now in the studio, but with B-roll that you'll see throughout the video, I will be using my Logitech MX Mechanical Mini to write articles. And that Bluetooth keyboard is tied to my Galaxy S23 Ultra and I'll be using that to write uh, articles on Medium and get some homework assignments done and it won't break a sweat. Uh, I am a fourth year technology management student and my current classes, uh, they line up really well with the work that I do for the YouTube channel. So for me, it's been a breeze getting work done uh, through Samsung DeX. I paired it up, but what do I need to pair this up? Well, you need a, first you need a USB-C cable to USB-C for your device for the S23 Ultra and for the monitor, but then you also need external power source. Uh, whereas if you were to use this for a MacBook Air, for example, you wouldn't need external power source, but for this you do just because your phone is just a little bit insufficient to um, put in power for the monitor. So just do keep that in mind. That's why I do have a USB-C to C for the phone to the monitor and then the monitor for its external uh, power source. So just do keep that in mind. So like, for example, we'll go into YouTube and I'll double click. Let's go to why I use the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. 
is going on everybody welcome back mtg here with another episode if you're new to the channel hi there. and if i want to pause i just go like this i pause and there you go now right now i'm having uh the audio come out from my device if you have bluetooth speakers you can connect it with that and use it like that too let's go to for example let's go to marquez brownlee let's go to mkbhd check out his channel his videos he's got a bunch of good videos up go x there we go concept phone it's time to stop watch all of his videos we can even check out his review of the galaxy s23 ultra i wish he kind of put out a video a review of the normal s23s last year he had a good one of the s22 let's go here and i like his intro glass aluminum rails massive specs quad cameras now also if you want to go into 4k because this is a 4k monitor right we're going to go into 4k we're going to go to advanced 2160 just going to give it a moment or two and in fact there we go go full screen and let's see the content and quality now oh wait wait hang on a sec yeah no that was the wrong phone sorry let's start that over matte black glass there we go that is some really good quality like the 4k display is actually really good uh, now it is capped at 60 hertz and since I'm not connected to Wi-Fi, it's going to be just a little bit slower. But it's 60 hertz, so I'm not doing anything intensive that needs more of a higher refresh rate. So for me, that's perfectly fine. Uh, but this is giving you a desktop experience with just your phone. And I like how I can use my phone as a mouse, as a keypad. There we go. And then if I do need to you know, go into other Google apps, my files, or need to write something on Google Docs, here it is. The monitor, the Uperfect S4K. Uh, and the reason why I think this is a perfect monitor is because of its specs and how great it is. A, I think this is a high flagship portable monitor. And I'll be leaving links in the description down below if you want to check out the Uperfect S4K touchscreen monitor. I'm telling you. I think if more portable monitors bring in touchscreen capability, this portable monitor market is definitely going to change for sure. We're seeing really good setups for the past couple of years, like tri portable setups, uh, dual portable monitor setups all over the place. But this one I think is the greatest because you can pair it up with your device like the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Try using an iPhone, for example. I'm just throwing it out there. Or try using another Android device like a Pixel 7 or 7 Pro. It doesn't have capabilities like Samsung DeX. That's why I think the S23 Ultra brings that portable uh, power or portable machine and level of power into a great monitor like this. Yes, other phones are powerful, but they don't have this capability that Samsung puts into their flagship devices. So good job, Samsung, and good job, Uperfect, for offering a great 4K touchscreen monitor. Definitely, definitely recommend it. And I've I'll be using this more often with my setups. You'll be seeing this in more videos for sure. But that's really it for this video. I just wanted to come out here and uh, showcase this mini setup of the Galaxy S23 Ultra powering your workflow. You can use this every single day as your workflow. If you don't have a laptop, you just need your phone and you're all set to go. Get started like that. I mean, if I had this setup when I was starting uh, my YouTube channel and my business, it would have been great. Like I would have had a much easier start than when I had 10 years ago. It was much more difficult. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to zoom in that like button, comment down below, and best of all, share this video because it really does help out the channel a lot. It will help push my content out to more people. That's been it for me, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.